Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and today's video is a quick walkthrough of the Animax app for the PlayStation 3. Animax is a video streaming service pretty much like Netflix but with less Kevin Spacey and more tentacle rape. It's new to the UK and costs $5.99 a month. You can also view it via Chrome as well as a PS3. Well, not just Chrome, but if you're using Internet Explorer then you probably don't know your ass from your elbow. Anyway, getting back on topic, on the PlayStation 3 you can install the app from finding it in the channel selection menu and then you're ready to go. As this is all pretty new, the selection isn't that large yet, but Netflix was like this when that first came out, so I guess it needs a bit of time to grow. But what there is on offer is pretty decent. It's all subbed anime, which appears to be in uncut form. I've been out of touch from the anime scene for quite some time, so I don't know if these are new or old. The only two that I recognise was Bleach and Le Street Fighter 2. Hold on. Le Street Fighter 2? Le Street Fighter 2? French people chomp on onions and go oh he ho he ho. That's a fact. <laughs> There's a great hook on this app though, and that's the free anime that you can access. You can watch the first two or three episodes of some of the series that are on offer. I don't know if that's a word. Series? Okay, well it is now. Anyway, they're on offer and you can watch them. And it's not only a good way to pull you in, but it's bloody handy when recording a video like this. It means that I can show you the quality of the said video footage without actually having to spend a penny. So when the show starts, it quickly tests your download speed while it's running and adjusts the video bitrate to match. So pretty much what Netflix does, but with Japanese schoolgirls. However, it does make you watch a couple of adverts first, but that's the price you pay, or not pay, whatever. It's a good quality HD stream on my fibre optic line, so I sat down and decided to watch what was on offer. The actual build quality of the app though is a bit dodgy. Scrolling through the menus is a bit juddery, and once I selected one of the shows to watch and it didn't actually begin, instead it decided to show me the same yogurt advert on an infinite loop until I restarted the whole app. There is also a search function, but that messes out the layout of the search results. But it does work I suppose. All in all, it's worth installing even if it's just for the free shows. The whole thing does need work in terms of programming and content, but I think there's a healthy market for this sort of thing on the PlayStation, and I'm sure the whole thing will improve over time. Well, that's it for today. Bye bye!